everybody. Today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2009. 999. And uh, our model is a swordfish. It uses a regular piece of origami paper and shouldn't be too difficult for us to get through. So get your supplies in hand and we'll get started right away. This model starts out using the fish base appropriately enough. Uh, so let me go ahead and quickly review uh, how you do that particular base. You're going to start out with your piece of paper with the uh, white side facing you and um, fold it in half on the diagonal just to give yourself a center guideline. Open it back up and then fold in to that line that you just created each side so that you end up with kind of a ice cream cone looking thing. Then you're going to flip your piece around and fold the bottom point up to the top point. So fold it up like this Then flip your piece back around again and now you're going to be pulling down on this bit and pushing in on the side so that you're flattening it down like that. Then on this side you're pulling down, pushing in, and flattening it down. And then finally the back, there's two flaps here, you're going to take the flat back flap and fold it down. So now you'll see there's a, a smaller flap here actually double flaps facing down. It's a little hard to see on the black, but there you go. And this is the, uh, this is the fish base. Now flip your piece around so that the flap, the smaller flap, is facing to the top. And then you're going to fold each of these, oh, these little um, because there's a double flap here, you're going to fold each of these over. And I, I realize it's a little difficult for you to see this. I'm going to, I'm going to try shining a light up here so that you get a better, <laughs> that's what I get for picking black, huh? There you go. You're going to fold one side. You've got two, um, two flaps here. You're going to fold the one side down and across and it's going straight across the center here the this edge and then the other one the same thing in the opposite direction so that they're folded over top of each other like that now after folding those two flaps over top of each other flip your piece around and fold this point down and you're not you're not going all the way to the bottom here you give yourself about an inch or so from the bottom and then fold it back up in the other direction but leaving a little band so that you're kind of accordioning accordion pleating it like that Now take the piece and fold it in half. And then hold it so that these the little flaps that you had just folded over each other are now facing down and they've become the fins of your swordfish. And here's the front end of the swordfish, the sword end of your swordfish. And the only thing you need to do to finish off this uh, fish is to flip the tail up and inside. You're doing an inside reverse fold. So push it up inside itself. Like that. Hold it 
this way with the light can reflect off of it better. And that's it. That's your swordfish. Tomorrow's model is a little odd. It's called a folder. And I'm not really sure um, what the point is, but we'll do it. It shouldn't be too difficult. It doesn't look to be uh, uh, very many folds at all. It's not very intricate. So uh, we'll see where, where we end up when we do that one tomorrow. So there you have it. That's our swordfish for today. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.